the line. So I'm just going to write John Doe, and I'm going to write it five times. So you, whatever name you want to use, if you want to use a girl's name, just make sure you have the full name. Otherwise, this will not work. So here we go. I am writing this down. And this is the fifth time, right? Okay. So now the next step is to, you either, either way, you can either cross it this way or you cross it that way, but you're going to put your name seven times on top of John Doe's name. So I'm just going to write your name and see how it covers it. You can barely see what's going on. Your name. Keep writing it seven times. You always want to cover it completely and um, you know adjust in case you write small or large. So that's on one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to keep going. And this way you could see it clearer. Now, most of the times I'm a lot uh, neater than this. <laughs> But there you go. So you're going to write it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. Now here's the part where you need to concentrate. In this part, you are going to go into a semi-trance um, state of mind. You cannot be checking your social media and doing the spell. You have to concentrate. And you're going to write a short but precise sentence that describes what you want the name of the person to do. So in this case, I just want John Doe return to me. And the key here is you're going to write it and not remove the pen or pencil from the paper. So what you do is you turn it every time you're going to go around. So I'm writing return to me. And I'm not, I'm not writing their name. I'm just saying return to me. I think I wrote it a little differently before, but return and then to me. And this is in case John Doe has not, um, is about to leave you or has already left you and you're writing, uh, let me see, get it in frame, return to me, return to me, but you can also write love me. And then what you do here, when you get to the end, you keep writing it one more.